1617-18 Guiana. Scene 1. Princess Pocahontas, now terminally ill, is taken aboard ship from London by her husband, John Rolfe, in a desperate attempt to get her back home to Jamestown. But when they reach Gravesend, it is obvious that she has a little time to live. So she is taken ashore to an inn. There, a doctor and a priest are called, but it's to no avail, and she dies and is buried at St George's Church on March the 21st. Unfortunately, her grave now has been lost. Scene 2 Rolf sails on to Virginia, leaving their son Thomas in the care of Sir Louis Stukeley, Vice Admiral of Devon. However, unknown to Rolf, Stukeley is a crook who is clipping the coinage. That means shaving bits off the gold currency. He's found out and imprisoned on Lundy Island in the Bristol Channel. Scene 3 Raleigh is let out of his imprisonment in the Tower of London by persuading King James that there are gold and silver mines in Guiana, El Dorado. However, his voyage to find them falls foul of the Spanish, and in a skirmish with them, his son is mortally wounded and dies in his arms. Scene 4 Because of his failure, Raleigh is arrested at Ashburton in Devon, when he gets back to England, and is jailed. Later, his bid to escape from his London prison is foiled. Scene 5 Raleigh is brought before judges, found guilty again, and this time his death sentence is carried out, and is beheaded on October the 29th, 1618, in Old Palace Yard. This panel was stitched by the Lyme Regis New World Tapestry team led by Cathy Down. The first stitch was made on Thursday the 14th of February 1991 in the Guildhall, Lyme Regis, by His Grace the Duke of Somerset, who was also the patron of the entire project. The last stitch was also made in the Guildhall, this time by Councillor Owen Lovell, the Mayor of the Town. The event took place on Tuesday, June 30th, 1992. The shield of special interest on this panel is that of the Reverend Nicholas Frankwell. It's because it was he who administered the last rites to Pocahontas on her deathbed. The design I've shown is not from his personal coat of arms, but that of his Cambridge College, St. Catherine's, which, as you see, is a Catherine wheel. The herb, Sweet William, was described by Gerald, the herbalist, as a little wild creeping pink, which groweth in our pastures near about London, especially in the great field next to Detford. However, before you rush off to eyeball it, I must tell you it's now a car park. 